Brilliant. Good morning. Right, we are live on YouTube and on Facebook this morning. Brilliant. I'm going to give people, my name's Amy Sermon. Hello, good morning. My name's Amy Sermon um, of the Oxford Bead Shop or Amy Sermon School of Jewellery. And um, today we are on uh, YouTube and we are on Facebook Live. And I've missed you all. I've missed it. I've seen some of you though. Morning from your sunny garden, Jan. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, I've really missed doing this last week. I've missed talking to you all. Sorry, I'm sat there playing with this clip. Can you hear me? Um, yes, so I'm going to give people a little minute to sign up. So if you're watching this later, this is a live video. So at the beginning of the video, I just wait for people to um, sign up and then we'll get started. Morning, Mum. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a beaded hair clip, actually. I'm going to show you in a minute. I don't know if you can see me up there. Can you see what's going on down there? Oh, let's have a little look. Let's put you down. There we go. There's got some bits on the table there. Yeah, so people are back at work a bit more now. So I'm not quite sure how many people will be signing up um this morning maybe not as many as we've been used to luckily um yeah so we'll, we'll have a little uh we'll, we'll see how many people join us but i am going to get started soon because we're already on what time always five past eleven so i know that people watch it later as well which is great and actually what i'm going to do today is i'm going to send out a poll to see when people would like me to do these if they do want to watch live because i'm more than happy to accommodate that for people all right, I'm going to get started. So my name's Amy Sermon of the Oxford Bead Shop, and um, today we are going to be looking at making a beaded hair clip like this. Okay, so great for jazzing your uh, hair up a little bit for maybe weddings. Are we going to weddings this year? I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah, so this is what we're going to be making. But lovely, even for your sunny garden, Jan, you could just wear it in your garden. And I'm sure the sheep will appreciate it on your walks and the foxes that I see you've been seeing. OK, that's what we're going to do. So really simple, minimal materials, really, and minimal tools. Hair clips. So we're going to use one of these sorts of hair clips to do it on. A metre of wire, I'm going to go with this nice colour today, this lovely aquarie colour, and a little bag of beads. So all sorts of different sizes, different shapes I've got there, okay? I can't, you can't probably, sorry. There we go. See that? See that on YouTube? See that on Facebook? Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use those. Okay, now what we're going to do, so I'm going to sell little kits of these um, in different colourways. I'm going to have fun making up some colourways today. And I'm going to sell little kits of these that you can buy for £4. So that's going to be all the beads, a metre of wire, this is 0.5 mil wire, and then a hair clip. OK, for four pounds. But you might already have all this stuff. So if you've already got wire and you've already got uh, your bead, it might just need it might just be the hair clips that you need. So we sell those in a pack of two for 60 P. OK. All right. Meter of wire. I'm going to completely unravel it like so. And then what I'm going to start by doing with the clip is removing this central piece here. So I'm going to remove that out first. All right, so like that. And then what we do is we take our end of wire and we're going to wrap it around this end here. So you see this end's got the little hole in there. I'm just going to pop my wire through there. I want to leave a little end though. Can you see how I've got that little end there? I want to leave a little end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that around just so it's secured in place. And I've left, can you see I've left the end out at the minute? Okay. Then I'm going to start adding beads. Now, it's quite nice to add, I always put the bigger ones on first. So put the bigger ones on first, and then we're going to fill in with these little ones, okay? So I'm going to have a little look at what I've got here. I quite like to have some of the bigger ones. You can sort of plan it out a bit before you go in and start 
threading on. But some of these, so most of these beads are through drilled, meaning that the hole runs straight through the middle. So on this one, the hole's running from where my finger and thumb are positioned, okay? So it's running straight through. But on ones like this, it's running through the top there. So if I thread these ones on, they're going to sit out to the side a little bit, like this. So that's, that's quite nice. So we'll have a little look at slotting those in later. Okay, so I've secured that end. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by popping this bead on. My end on this is a little bit, can you see it? It's all wiggly. I'm going to cut it off because what I don't have here is a really good pair of, I don't have a pair of my nylon jaw pliers. They're really clever. So they're nylon based on the end, chunky nylon. And you pull the um, wire through a, a lot. You pull the wire through the nylon jaws and it straightens the wire out. So they're really handy, actually. I should get myself my a pair here for when I'm doing working with wire for you. Okay, so let's get that one back on. So I was going to start with this one here. And then I'm just going to let it drop all the way down to the bottom there. There we go. And then I'm going to position it. Now, I want to be quite definite about where I position this because I don't want to see any gaps. So I'm going to position it on the end there. And then I'm going to wrap this underneath like so. So you see how I did that? I just went underneath and up and I'm ready to put the next bead on. Now, don't worry at this point if you do end up seeing some of the clip underneath, because we're going to go over this again and again. We've got a meter of wire to work with, so it's easy for us to do that. So you see, I've done a stitch on the back, I've come around the front, I've put my next bead on, and then I'm going to go around the back again, and I'm pulling this nice and tight, so I'm really pulling it nice and tight. I'm going to pull that around and put my next bead on. So let's go with another blue one. Actually, I quite like the idea of putting this one. Look, this one's quite big and it actually takes up quite a bit of space on there. But I think that would look quite good on there because then I can kind of pack smaller beads around it. So I'm going to go with that one. Lovely colour. It's like an opalite type colour there. Really nice. OK, now I want to pull it out a little bit. So when I bend it into the wire, it's going to sit flat there. See that? Because this is curved. The, the clip's actually curved. I need to move you there, guys, on Facebook Live, because you're off to the side a little bit. There we go. OK. And then I'm going to pull that round there. I'm going to add another little one in. So you see how I'm keeping my finger nice and close to it as well as I'm doing it? Right, let's put a nice blue one in. Let that come all the way down to the bottom slot that in there so this is what you can do you can start to slot things into place and then pull that round i'm going to put a nice crystally one in i think but again i'm going to do this little fluted flower but if i put it in this way i can slot that in nicely let that drop and then i can slot that in there now, what you need to be careful of when you get to these ends is that you're not taking your wire over the actual clip on the back there. All right. You don't want to do that. So we need to move across to the end on the top. You see, you don't want to cross it over on the back. So I'm going to add on. What should I go for now? I quite like the idea of one of these brighter blues, actually. Well, let's go a bigger one again, just so we can fill this gap. I'm just gonna get that gap filled. Which one should we go for? That's quite a good one. Oh, decisions, decisions here. Yeah, let's go for that one. Let's go for that one. Because I, I like to put the bigger ones on first and then I can fill in around it. There we go, look. All right, so that's what we've got so far. So you see, I've just got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six beads on there at the moment and it's just covering it. But we want it completely filled. So I'm going to wrap it around that end to kind of put it into place. And then I'm going to come up through that little hole there. Now, make sure your wire doesn't get kinked. But we just want that to be anchored on there nicely. We don't want it to be coming off, okay? So look, all I've done is I've gone through that little loop at the end and it will stop those beads from coming off, off of the end. Now I'm going to start adding other beads. So 
think about where you're positioning think about color think about shape think about the profile that you're creating as you're adding these beads and i'm just going to wrap around there and then i'm going to come through these beads and slot my wire down in between these beads now the other thing that i've done here is i've chosen a nice um, color wire that complements what i'm doing so it actually makes a bit of a feature of the wire as well because i can because i'm using all of these lovely blues i can see the green wire and it just really works nicely so you see all i'm doing now is i'm slotting into place but i put one bead on that's slotting in that side now, what I'm going to do before I pull this round underneath is I'm going to slot another bead in the other side. So let's take a little one of those. That's a nice one. Pop that down there and that can just slot in there. So now I'm really being aware of shape and size of beads. Oh, that's just moved up. So get that down there, put that in there and then pull that round nice and tight. And you see how I filled that gap there? just by adding those extra little beads. So I don't really need a, a big one in there, but I think I'm gonna go for this top drilled one here. Because if I take that little feather, uh, it's not a feather, sorry, a leaf one down, look how it's sitting off at the side. That's quite a nice little detail. So pull that round and then I'll have to make some of these for my, my little nieces. I think they'd like one of these each. Okay, pull that round. They're actually a good project for children to make as well. Not as young as my nieces probably, but you know, sort of um, seven, eight year olds. Um, okay, so let's put in another little blue. I wanna get some darker colors this side. Um, and then let's put one of those in. So to see this time, I'm layering two beads up. So I'm putting two beads in at the same time. So like that. Now I've put those in, but there's still a gap just there. So I'm gonna come back to that and I'm going to fill that again in a minute. So let's go back underneath, continue working down this end. Let's put one of those in. You've got plenty of wire here to go backwards and forwards a couple of times if you use a meter. Let's go. One of these nice little blues. That's it. Now this time I'm gonna go around there and I want to slot something in this side. So let's go with this nice little flower. But that would be nice. Look, it's a little flower. Can you see how it's just curved a little bit there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop another little bead on the top there. So it's like a little flower and then it's got a little detail in the middle, which is quite nice. What I will do is once I've done this, I'll post a, a close up picture up for you at, on my follow up post. Okay, I'm gonna go back the other way now, just slotting in some more beads. So I'm really not using many much of this pack at all. I'm gonna go that way. And then there's that gap that I wanted to fill. Now I wonder whether that's gonna to be too big. That one would be nice. I think that one's gonna be a bit too big. So I'm gonna go with this little leaf shaped one, which is top drilled. Sometimes you have to be careful with these top drill beads, like the daggers and the little leaf. So that being a dagger, because they're quite fragile on the top. There's not much there between the hole and they can break. But look at that. See how that's sitting out nicely. Okay. Right, so let's go down this end, wiggle ourselves in there. I mean, it doesn't really matter what's happening on the back there because you're not going to see it from the front I want to put another little dagger in there because I think they work quite nicely what about if I put that one in does the, what does that look like there yeah I think I'm going to go with that one so this is a nice um top drilled leaf but I want it to sit that way so I want it to go on my wire 
there. So now I'm being much more specific about what type of bead I'm putting on and where I'm positioning, uh, positioning. because what I'm doing now is I'm really filling gaps. There, that's working really nicely. So let's put a little blue one on. Oh, oh I've lost it. <laughs> All right, let's take that one there. There we go. And then let's pop that over. I think I need a little something just in at that point, like a little one of these nice blues. There we go. And I think we're done. Maybe I could slot in another one there. Why not? Let's get that little one in there. See, all I'm doing is just morning. Morning stays. Okay, there we go. So look at that. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone all the way along. I filled in all the gaps. I'm just going to have a little check. Now I'm happy, but you can see, you can see the wire. You can see the wire a bit. So what I, so it's nice to make sure you choose a wire that's either, you know, that's going to complement what you're doing because you do see it. What I'm going to do now to finish off is I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to wiggle it, sort of pull it down quite firmly in between some of these beads. So I'm just working my way along this clip and I'm pulling it down in between some of these beads to make sure that everything is nicely, you see I'm really pulling it, slotting down in between to make sure that everything is nicely in place. And then I'm going to twist around a couple of times and I'm going to cut off with my side cutters, all right? Then what we're going to do is if we take the chain nose pliers, I'm just gonna pull the end around, tuck those ends in. Now I'm doing that with the chain nose pliers here. Did I call those chain nose or side cutters? Just had a blank then side cutters I cut with, chain nose pliers, and all, and these ends that are sticking out, so this is the same end, this is the end that we started with. I'm going to take these chain nose pliers and I'm going to pull that around and squeeze. You see how I'm, I'm getting this plier just around the hair clip and I'm squeezing the wire down onto it. So I'm just doing that, making sure I haven't got any sharp ends coming out. Let's just pull that round. We don't want it getting caught on anything. There we go. There's our hair clip. Now what we're going to do is take that little in, inner piece. Now what you have to be careful of as well is that you haven't blocked up this end, the end of the clip with wire. And I have got a bit of wire there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully, with my chain nose pliers, just move that wire down a bit. So all I've done there is, I've got my plier in there, and I've just pulled it down very carefully, making sure you don't damage this bit. Then I can slot that in that side, and slot that one back in that side. And there's our nice new beaded hair clip. Nice present for somebody as well, isn't it? It'll look nice for the summer. For a wedding, like I said, I don't know whether we're allowed to go to any. There we go. Brilliant. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be selling, putting some packs together of these. I'm going to be putting up on my um, Facebook page. So you'll be able to see colours that are available. Um, and also you can order through there. I'll be visiting the shop again this week on Thursday. We've got our new um, metal clay workshop that we're doing online that's starting on Saturday. So we're really excited about that. And I'm trying to get more workshops planned in. I'm absolutely addicted to making mandalas. So I'm going to be offering my four, uh, my third workshop of this on the 14th. Look at these, aren't they fab? On the 14th, I've been working, doing lots of new colors. That's my original one, that one's a new one. I did that one on the workshop of the weekend, love that one. And then that was a new one, the blue as well. But I'm addicted to making them. They're really fun to make. Literally, once you get the hang of it, they only take about half an hour. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm on my third workshop of that that we're going to be doing on Sunday the 14th. 
So thank you all for watching. It's a short little tutorial today. We've got lots more planned in coming up. We're doing button ne um, bunting necklace on Thursday. At some point this week, I am going to be on the radio again, talking to Radio Oxford on the Cat Orman show. Might be tomorrow, but I'll post up and let you know so you can listen in. Lovely to see you all. Thanks, Janina. Thank you. It is a nice little project. Thank you. And I will hopefully uh, see you all soon at some point. OK, take care. Bye. Thank you. Oh, and YouTube, I'm going to finish you as well. Thank you for joining me. Great. There we go.